now that we are done building up our uh, layer list, we could now formally draw with colored lines as our line weight indicators. So we leave the line weight as default, leave it by layer, and we ascribe the line weight through their colors. So point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3. 0.09 and maybe let's begin starting to draw the beam outline so quickly double click on beam outline to make it current as indicated by the check mark okay a while ago layer 0 is the current so quickly double click on beam outline to make it current and just close the layer palette either through this uh, icon or simply through the icon here on the uh, ribbon. And let's invoke AutoCAD to create a rectangle. So type REC and then enter. And click anywhere near our origin. The first corner of our rectangle and for the second corner let's type 250 comma 400 enter so we have a beam of 25 centimeters by 40 centimeters depth and let's offset this rectangle so type O and then enter and type offset distance of 25 for the concrete cover okay so 25 enter and of course we want this inside okay not outside so inside and then click and then escape and let's select the smaller rectangle now and on the layers panel let's click the drop down arrow and select the appropriate layer for that uh, rectangle so click on beam stirrups now let's uh, offset our stirrup so type o again enter and specify offset distance of probably this must be 10 mm so 10 enter okay so again we offset towards the uh, center so click and of course, usually uh, web reinforcements are either 10 mm for regular beams or 12 mm for large girders, and of course, 8 mm for narrow beam sections. And then just press escape to exit the offset command. Now, to make the corners of our stirrup rounded as our reference. Let's invoke AutoCAD to do a fillet command. So type F on your keyboards or fillet and then enter. And let's select the inner rectangle. So this one and this one and nothing happens. Okay, so let's re-invoke again the fillet command. So F, enter. By default, it is set to trim okay and its radius is set to zero so we could use it to trim overlapping objects so let's escape first again and create a new line so type l enter make sure your auto is on and create a vertical line just so then escape and then select that line and then offset that so offset enter let's just accept the offset distance of 10 so enter and then offset it either to its right or left then escape and then create another vertical line so line enter just so enter and then create a horizontal line that crosses this a vertical line so L again enter then create a line okay uh, such and then enter and then uh, turn off your 
or two modes. And then, let's create another line, which is a diagonal one. Okay, so, L, enter, let's uh, say from here to here. So, just follow that particular configuration of lines. Okay. Now, let's re-invoke the fillet command. So, type F again, and then enter. And... So I repeat, our current setting is a trim mode and zero radius. So let's select this line and then this line. And it functions as a trim command. Okay? And again, let's re-invoke it. So just hit your space bar or enter. And again, we are on the fillet command. Okay? So, let's try to select this one and this one again. And nothing happens. Okay? So, re-invoke again the uh, fillet command. So, just hit enter keys or your space bars. And this time, select this and this line. Click. And it functions as a extend command. Okay? So, it joined this a diagonal line with this horizontal line. And similarly, let's recall the fillet command again. So, space bar. Then, let's select this one and this one. So, it could function both as a trim command and an extend command. Okay? And let's uh, focus here on these uh, two parallel lines. And let's re-invoke again the fillet command. So, hit your space bar. And select this one and this line. And it created a rounded edge. So if you have parallel lines and select them or fillet them, the fillet command would create a rounded corner. Even though its radius is set to 0 and the mode is trim. So... Try to create different geometries and experiment on the extent of the functionality of fillet command. But for the meantime, let's just uh, erase this. So select and then E, enter. And let's fillet the inner rectangle. So F, enter. So let's change the radius. So type R or simply click this option for me i love typing the capital letters found on the options so i'll type r enter and let's specify fillet radius okay um these beam bars are of diameter 20 okay so we need a radius of 10 so type 10 enter and we could uh, fillet so enter fillet enter fillet or click on multiple so m enter so click 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 then escape okay so we could fillet or make the corners rounded uh, individually or through multiple options or let's reinvoke again the fillet command so F enter we could choose polyline okay so type P enter and this time let's try to select the uh, outside rectangle so click and it rounded all the corners automatically of the rectangle but of course it's not good okay so let's re-invoke the fillet command F, enter And this time, uh, type R again for the radius So R, enter And let's change it to So 10 plus 10 That must be 20 So enter And then of course, we want it to automatically fillet Or uh, make the corners of this polyline rounded So of course, let's select P For polyline, enter And then select this polyline And there, it automatically rounded the corner of the polyline. 
that's another point for using polylines.